Greetings, Cryptonauts. Welcome to our next crypto challenge, Portfolio Management and Yield Farming. Uh, as some of you may know, if you've been following along, we've been holding these crypto challenges every month since the release of Scripto, each one of those challenges covering a different type of DeFi application. These are the applications that basically make up a functional alternative financial system on a DeFi network. And we want to show the world the fact that you can recreate these things very quickly and very securely in Scripto. And also, we want to give our community the opportunity to show off their skills and compete for some prizes. So we've had really good results over the last few challenges. We've covered DEXs and lending and oracles and other, other different types of components. And the entries we've gotten have been amazing. Really creative results, really nice code, really nice asset-oriented approaches to problems. And we want to continue that with our portfolio management and yield farming challenge. These challenges are a great way for you to practice your crypto skills, or it's even a good way to get started with crypto if you're just starting for the first time. We've had multiple people in challenges that have basically gotten started with a challenge and have even won one of the prizes just because the learning curve is so easy and they've got a great idea that they want to get down into code. So. The other thing you get out of this is an early adopter advantage. As we head to a Babylon where Scripto and the Radix engine move on to our public network and you can begin launching applications on the platform, people that are learning the skills now and establishing themselves as high quality developers have an advantage of being the very first people there and you'll be able to show it off with an NFT. So let's talk about portfolio management and yield farming, this application. This basically is about allowing people to put their crypto to work. They're holding crypto and they'd like to be able to invest or they'd like to be able to get a yield or some sort of return with that crypto with another application. Now, of course, there are lots of applications in DeFi that allow you to get some sort of yield, some sort of percentage for participating and providing liquidity or something else like that. However, there are a thousand different options, lots of different applications with different ways of getting that sort of yield and different rules and risk, risk profiles and all these sorts of things. So. There's a sort of second layer of application that has emerged, which basically allows people to have a little bit more of a simple process of providing some capital to a platform or to, a, to an application, and then allowing that application to automatically distribute that or otherwise automate some things that would have been difficult on their own and to try to produce some kind of optimized return for that given amount of capital. Um, platforms like Harvest Finance or Yearn have gotten very popular doing this sort of thing on Ethereum. Um, there's another type of way of doing this that, that is starting to merge of automatic strategy following, where there is maybe either a either a fully uh, an automated bot or there's actually a human being that's executing some sort of investment strategy, and there are ways of building something so that y multiple people can automatically sort of follow on the shifts of that strategy. These are just examples. The overall concept here is building some kind of an application that allows people to get a return with their capital, but doing it by distributing that, by interacting with different components that are also on the same network. So the details, if you want to get started on this, are as always, on our blog. You can go to radixdlt.com slash blog, and you'll see a post there specifically about the Portfolio Management and Yield Farming Challenge, and you'll see all the different rules and judging criteria and so forth there. This challenge is going to be a little bit different, and one thing you'll see described on the blog is the fact that in this case, because you're going to be building this sort of second layer, it also means you need to build the first layer. You need to build the applications that you're going to be interacting with. Now, don't be afraid. We're not expecting to build an entire DeFi ecosystem on your own. That'll be a later challenge, possibly. But for now, what we want you to do is just think about what sort of applications would my yield farming or my portfolio management application want to, want to interact with. You might have a very different sort of specialty than someone else who's entering. And so it's difficult for us to say ahead of time, well, you should have to interact with these kinds of components. So all you need to do is just create a dummy component that represents it. If you wanted to interact with lending applications, build something where the methods that you call look like a lending application, but there's nothing inside. It doesn't implement any of the logic. It's just enough that you can test your application and show how it would interact with those other components and what kind of components those would be for your application. So. 
we hope that's not going to be too much of a burden. We think it's an exciting challenge, and we think that people will have a lot of really interesting ideas here. Um, we're still operating this over the course of a month, so the challenge starts on Tuesday, August 2nd, and goes, it ends on Tuesday, August 30th. So you'll have to put your entries by August 30th. But we're also increasing the size of the prize pot on this one because it's a little bit of a broader scope. So you'll see, when you go to the blog, you'll see that this is the biggest, biggest prize pot yet that we've ever offered on these challenges. And so we hope that'll provide you a little bit of extra motivation on this one. So go there, read up on the challenge, start thinking about ideas, make sure to join our Discord as always. Our Discord channel, our Radix Discord has multiple scripto channels that go all the way from people that are absolute beginners to people that have more advanced questions. People are very, very helpful there, and so we'd love to see you there as well. Uh, and also in the middle of this challenge, we're gonna have a tech Q&A to, to help people particularly work through complexities they run to for the portfolio management and yield farming challenge. So beyond that, have a look. Start brainstorming some ideas. We hope you'll enter and good luck. Mm -hmm.